hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well this is nurse jbs and today i'm going to discuss pharmacology in your nplex rn and the drug that i will discuss is alendronate it's a biphosphonate and it's commonly known as fosamax so this drug is prescribed to patients who have osteoporosis but before anything else, I want to thank you all for watching all my videos, subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share it to your friends. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so I forgot to tell you in my introduction that you can always comment down below if you have any questions and I will answer as soon as possible. So I'm going to discuss alanginate. It's a biphosphonate and it's commonly known by the brand name Fosamax. So it is used in the treatment of osteoporosis. How does this drug Fosamax work? So it decreases the rate of the bone cells that are absorbed in the body. And this reduced absorption allows the body to increase bone density, which in turn reduces the risk of fracture. So this is given to patients are prescribed to patients who have osteoporosis to prevent the risk of bone fracture. So especially women, they usually experience, elderly women experience osteoporosis because of the hormone estrogen, but not just women, some men, elderly men can also have osteoporosis. So how do you take this drug? So how, what teaching will you have to give to your patient? So it is taken once weekly or once daily. The pills are available in 5, 10, 35, 40, and 70 milligram strength. The usual dosage for osteoporosis prevention is 35 milligrams once weekly or 5 milligrams once daily. So what do you need to teach your patient? So you have to teach your patient that this drug is taken before breakfast, right after the patient gets up. It should have the patient should have empty stomach and when you take the drug it should be with a full glass of water and then after taking the drug the patient needs to be upright for about 30 uh, 30 minutes to one hour do not lie down for a full half hour to, to reduce the risk of unwanted side effects so the main side effect of this drug is that it causes heartburn because if the patient lies down after taking this drug it it can cause a reflux and it could burn your esophagus so when biphosphonates bind the hydrophobic barrier is destroyed and the gastric acid is able to reach the epithelium resulting in irritation in your esophagus so remember your esophagus doesn't have any barrier so once acid comes up it may burn your esophagus. So make sure that the patient is upright or sitting down after taking this drug for about 30 minutes to an hour. And you only have to take this drug with a full glass of water, no soda, no iced tea, no coffee, anything else. It's just a full glass of water at least two hours after or a half, full half hour before eating. So Fosamax, aside from causing heartburn, it causes irritation or ulceration of the esophagus and can also cause individuals with untreated calcium deficiency or esophageal disease should not use this treatment. So you have to consult your physician about it. And yeah, that's an um, important thing that you need to know. Uh, Fosamax treatment should be taken on its own without any other medications and you must wait at least 30 minutes before taking other drugs. It is best to have your doctor's advice before adding another medication to your daily routine. So uh, when taking this drug, the, the patient needs to be able to uh, wait at least 30 minutes for, before taking other drugs because uh, Fosamax treatment should be taken on its own without any other medications. So what are the side effects of Fosamax? So the patient 
may have heartburn. That's the common side effect that you can see heartburn because it irritates your esophagus. It upsets the stomach, stomach pain, nausea, diarrhea, constipation, or bone pain, muscle, or joint pain. So it, the patient may stop using alanginate and or call the doctor once if you have any severe heartburn, jaw pain, numbness, or swelling, severe joint bone or muscle pain. So guys, this drug may come out in your NCLEX RN about 40 to 50% when you're answering topics about osteoporosis. So when you see alanginate, you must be able to know the important things. So make sure that the patient is able to take this drug after getting up before eating breakfast it should be taken with a full glass of water no juice no soda and anything else it should only be water and after taking the drug the patient should be upright about 30 to 1 hour 30 minutes to 1 hour to prevent any side effects such as heartburn that's causing to irritate your esophagus and make sure that it is not combined with other medications uh, the patient needs you have to teach the patient that he or she needs to wait 30 minutes before taking other drugs so also uh, it is advisable not to take this drug with food because food will make it hard for your body to absorb the medication properly so instead uh, the patient needs to take alanginate first thing in the morning at least 30 minutes before eating, drinking, or taking other medications. And also, as what I've said, only take this drug with a full glass of water. So if you have any questions, guys, please comment down below and I will catch you up on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.